Beat block is a myth and I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, maybe it's not a myth. So then what is it? Lander AI Mastering, AKA the most credible source on the internet, says beat block is when beat makers lose inspiration and struggle to come up with something new. So how do we stop losing inspiration? Start out with some base notes. I have a one, three, six, seven progression here. No, seriously. The entire reason that I started to start out with some base notes was because one day, many years ago, I had beat block and I had no idea what to do. As all internet producers do, I turned to the one true source of knowledge. After one 10 minute YouTube video with three unskippable ads and not enough likes, I discovered the power of the base notes. But I was not ready, not trained, and not educated to use this untapped power. So I studied the ancient texts of music theory, sheet music, and hooktheory.com, popular chord progressions, and the songs that use them. And I discovered the truth to music songs are all the same and that truth is what i'm here to teach you today so that you can wield the power of bass notes and never get beat block again so what does it mean for songs to all be the same it turns out tons of songs use the exact same rhythms patterns and chord progressions it's like having a secret code for making beats easily imagine this hmm you're struggling to make a beat, don't know where to start, or what to start out with. But you know that chords are the lifeblood of music. Chords set the mood of the beat by establishing the harmony. Is the beat dark, emotional, or happy? Well, whatever it is, it's probably determined by the harmony established by the chords. Chords also play a major role in establishing dissonance, based around chord notes and non-chord notes. They also establish where we can resolve that tension built by the dissonance by using chord notes. And chords can even be a melody. And to make those chord progressions, we gotta start out with some bass notes. Here. Let me show you. Since beat block is a lack of inspiration, we don't need inspiration to start making a beat. We just have to find it along the way. By now you've probably figured it out, we're gonna start out with some bass notes. But if we can't come up with anything, how can we come up with bass notes? Well, we know a lot of popular songs use the exact same chord progressions. Chord progressions are integral to the beat, and most chord progressions are based around their root note. Or for us, the bass notes. If we put that all together, we can build entire beats by starting out with chords that we build around popular bass note progressions. But where can we find these mysterious and popular progressions? So ChatGPT says trap music often features a variety of chord progressions, and while there isn't a strict set of trap progressions, certain patterns and tendencies are commonly found in the genre. Here are 20 chord progressions for trap music expressed in scale degrees. Note that these can be applied to different keys. Right, let's see what we got. Is there like some one, three, six, seven kind of progression? Cause that is a personal favorite. Oh, I see it. One, three, seven, six, not quite, but close enough. I will take it. And that's what I'm going to start out with. <laughs> Now that we've got our bass notes, let's turn that into an actual chord progression. I've done a video all about chords before, but you can check out up above. But pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add notes that are gonna play at the same time as the bass note that sound good with the bass note. Bring this up an octave, it's a little bit low. I do like having notes in common, this could be dissonant. That's kind of hard. Seventh is fire, and then the sixth, we can just do this. Somewhere along the way, you'll find inspiration in what you're making. It might not be the full picture quite yet, but every bit of inspiration is more than you had before. Once you've got your chords, you'll have a general vibe established by the harmonic tone of your chords. And this is where I like to do my sound selection, so that I can keep building on the inspiration that I now have. For me, I know my best sounds come from my own kits. It's no secret I've gotten all of my biggest placements using my own sounds. So I'm gonna use my brand new Overgloom Trap Bundle with over 500 plus sounds and presets, which you can also get only on presetsupply.com. Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling that. That is kind of heat. We've got our sounds, we've got our chords, and we've got our inspiration. Now let's make a melody. All we really need to do is break up these chords rhythmically and give them some kind of bounce. This is a broken chord, and it's gonna act as our melody. We're also gonna add in some non-chord notes to build dissonance and tension throughout our melody.
These will act as our filler notes and they'll really turn our melody into a melody. And if you want to learn more about making melodies, I've got a video all about making melodies up above. You've got a melody. Now what? You can layer it. And usually what I like to do for layering my melody is I like to find the bass notes. Oftentimes I like to layer those. I like to layer the fifth or just any other note in the melody that's playing at the same time. That sounds good with just the bass note. We started with absolutely nothing, not even inspiration. And now we've got half a beat. We just need some drums. I'm gonna like throw in an effect because this Overgloom Trap Bundle, listen, I, I know I'm hyping it up, but the Overgloom Trap Bundle, you gotta hear me out, right? It has this gorgeous gross beat bank that I made in here. And I put work into this thing and it sounds so good. <laughs> That's gorgeous. I took that to a whole nother level, actually. Jeez. I just want to clip it a little bit, give it a little bit more, uh, a little bit of bam. And we got to just go with the bass notes. Listen, I've been, I've, I've been a hater of kicks for a long time. A long time. <laughs> Genuinely, the kicks in this kit have kind of turned me around. They've changed my ways and I'm starting to enjoy kicks. I'm putting them everywhere in my beats now. Listen, every beat sounds better once you add in a two-step hi-hat pattern, and that's what we're going to do. Really missing that kick, and it kind of hurts me deep inside. Ooh, I don't even have to sound select here. I just click on one, and it's perfect. I'm gonna keep that little basic two bar pattern and then just maybe change it on the fourth bar. Okay, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice and dirty. Yeah! Give me these open hats. Ooh! Listen, I love open hats. First one I clicked, I was like, this works in the beat perfect. Okay, we cooked up. We cooked up. Genuinely, I was not feeling inspired before this, but now, damn, bro, I can make anything. And just like that, we started out with only the will to live, bass notes, and the glowing gospel orange light of FL Studio. But along the way, we found inspiration, made friends, and discovered the power of bass notes to cure beat block. Now, here's the full thing. Why you shut your dumb ass up?